How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Horizon 5 files have been looked through once again and even more unreleased items and cars have been found which we're going to cover in this video. This is like the 6th or 7th video we're doing on unreleased leaked stuff found in the files so if you do enjoy this type of stuff check out the other videos and subscribe. Let's get into it. So this leak in particular comes from someone called The Widowmaker on Reddit. We can see on GT Planet we have a post from Design Labs that says the following. Over on the Forza Discord Reddit there was a discussion about some leaked cars that came through as body kits such as the 570VX kit on this McLaren 620R. Widowmaker, the original poster, pointed out that it was found in the suspension structure files of Horizon 5 and they were basically looked through for even more new vehicles spotted and lo and behold this is what we found. So the cars we're gonna cover in this video are found in the suspension structure files for Horizon 5. There were no images of cars found, just information about these cars' names within the suspension structure files. Now once again, this doesn't mean we are ever going to get any of these cars that we mentioned in today's video. We may never get any. However, it's just interesting to see what cars are found within the files, what cars are being worked on, what cars have been thought about in the future and in the past. It's just interesting to see and there are quite a lot of theories to go from them. The McLaren F1 GTR from 1995, more specifically the number 59 racing version. The Lexus LC 500 from 2016, that's quite an interesting one because that's got a relatively new-ish car. The Suzuki Samurai from 1991, the Volkswagen Jetta GLI from 2003, the Rolls-Royce Phantom from 1937, quite an old one, and the Robbie Gordon Stadium Super Truck from 2016. These are the first six vehicles found within the suspension structure files. Once again, this doesn't mean we're ever going to get any of these cars, it's just interesting to see that these names in particular, these models, have been noted at some point within those files. There are some quite old vehicles, some quite new ones. Maybe they're just being developed on very gradually for the next Forza Motorsport game. There's no way of knowing. But there is another post to go along with this, which is the following. We've got another post from Kelpie D. He says that he basically went through the files himself and found even more cars within the suspension structure files. Let's go through these now. The 2013 LTC TX4, also known as a London Taxi, very interesting. The 2014 Peugeot 208 GTI. The 1923 Miller 122. The 2014 Peugeot RCZR. The 1954 Ferrari 500 TR. The 2006 Ford Transit, that's quite a funny one. The 1936 Mercedes-Benz 540K, the 2014 Infiniti Emerge E Concept, concept car, very strange. The 1985 DAF95 Twin Turbo X1, the 2012 Audi A5 Touring Car, the 2013 Renault Premium Racing Truck, presumably without the trailer, it's not going to be a full lorry. The 2013 Subaru BRZ Formula Drift, another Formula Drift vehicle, that's quite interesting to see. The 2019 Playground Games Dinosaur Car, you heard that right. And the 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, as I like to call it, 6 underground. So there's a lot of very interesting and odd cars to go off that list. There are racing trucks, there are, there are extremely old vehicles, there's some concept vehicles and then the two that stand out to me are the final two, the Playground Games Dinosaur Car and the Alfa Romeo 6 Underground. The Dinosaur Car what on earth could that be? This is likely just one of many special vehicles that get added to showcase events, um, special event lab races, such as the parade car, you know that big parade float that you can drive in Horizon 5? That's known as a playground games vehicle along with all the traffic vehicles as well. So in the files at some point, they considered or at least worked on a dinosaur car. Now I'm sure some of you may line this up with another video I made a few last week I believe about a Jurassic Park expansion theory. 
about how maybe the first or second expansion might be dinosaur related, Jurassic Park related, it's just a working theory and the fact that there is a Playground Games dinosaur car within the files sort of adds to it, it doesn't make it much more likely but it just sort of adds to the theory about maybe we're getting something like that, you never know. And the final one as I said the Alfa Romeo Giulia 6 Underground. Now if you don't recognise this, 6 Underground is a movie on Netflix, I'm sure you may have seen it, Ryan Reynolds is in it, and one of the main cars of that movie, basically the cover car as you would say, is the Alfa Romeo from 2016. Now why is this in the Foots of House of Five Files? Could we be getting some kind of crossover with that movie? Um, I, I don't know really. There's lots of different ways of looking at this. I would have thought with something this old, bearing in mind that movie is really old now, it's not really a new movie at all, if we were getting some kind of crossover it would have happened by now. It's really strange to see something like this even noted in the files. Let me know in the comment section below your opinions on why these vehicle names are in the files and what each of them mean. Why are there concept cars in the files? Why is the dinosaur car there? What did they have planned? What do they have planned for the future? Let me know. Over on GT Planet, Pez2K has a very interesting take on this. As you can see, he says that it was most likely a planned tying car that never happened. The movie wasn't notable, notable enough for anything like that to happen long after release. As I said, it's quite an old movie now and it's been just too long for anything to you know, happen really. And then he goes on to say that just to be clear, you know, seeing stuff in the suspension structure files really doesn't mean anything. I say this in almost every video, everything we've talked about, every vehicle we've talked about in this video may never come, you know, they may just be planning for the next motorsport game, they may have been planned for the past but never in implemented, they may have given up, they may be failed projects, there's lots of different possibilities. But I still do enjoy doing videos like this just because it's interesting to see what Playground games have considered in the past and at some point in the past They've got a dinosaur car in there for some reason, for some idea, and the 6 Underground Alfa Romeo for some reason in the past has been in the files. Now on the good side there are certain possibilities that these are in the files for the future. We may be getting some of these cars in the future, like the Formula Drift car might be added in the future, the Playground Games dinosaur car might have its use in the future, and the Alfa Romeo you never know, might have its use in the future. Maybe there's going to be some kind of Netflix crossover with Horizon 5 and we're going to get a load of Netflix related vehicles where loads of popular Netflix movies and popular Netflix TV series we get the cover car added to the game. Just a theory, you know what I mean, there's lots to sort of consider. And then we've got the Jurassic Park slash dinosaur car sort of working theory. The fact that there's a dinosaur car in the files is just added to all of that. We'll have to wait and see for the future, but I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think of all of these cars we've mentioned in this video? It's certainly quite interesting. As I said, guys, we cover all found. As I said, guys, we cover all kinds of leaks found in the files of Horizon 5. So if you make sure, if you enjoy them, make sure to subscribe. As there's probably plenty more to come in the future. We have a huge list of every single car that's ever been found within the files that isn't in the game yet and this video only adds to it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed guys, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content and I'll see you all later.